Good afternoon, students who love to learn. I am going to show you very quickly how to use Microsoft Word and input something into my isotopic notation, which is what you're getting ready to do on lab number four. I've already shown you how to do this once in class, but maybe you want to see it step by step again. Um, keep in mind that there are a couple different ways you could do this, but you all know that I'm OCD, so I have actually changed one number here. Your bag A had a 1 for electrons, but I'm changing it to a 0 just so that you can see how to put a charge in here. We are going to start by going to Insert Equation, and this is pretty amazing. We're going to choose over here in your top right hand corner, Matrix, and we're going to choose the one that has the two boxes right on top of each other, each other two by one. And I know that for my isotopic matrix, I'm going to use H for hydrogen click over. We realize that that bottom number is going to represent the atomic number, which for hydrogen is 1, so I'm going to type a 1 in, and then just arrow up to that top box for the mass number, which we realize is going to be 2. So now we've got our mass number and atomic number in, and in this situation we do see a charge that I kind of forced on you here on that hydrogen. We see that it has one proton and zero electrons, giving it a charge of plus 1. So to get that charge there, the easiest thing is going to be to come over here to your superscript and click that. And we're going to add an addition symbol to represent that plus one charge. So that's pretty much it. Remember, if there is no charge, we're going to leave that charge blank. And let me know if you have any questions.